In this video, let us learn to draw an ER diagram for the topic developing project. The first step is we need to identify the entities. Entity is nothing but an object with physical or conceptual existence. So for developing project, customer will be an entity. Customer is a person. Person is physically existing. Therefore, customer is an entity. We must write entity inside a rectangular box. So we should draw a rectangular box and write customer inside it because it is an entity. The second entity is software company. If you take software company, this software company is physically present because it is a building. You can touch it. So therefore it is physically existing. Therefore software company is an entity. So we are writing it inside a rectangular box. Next entity is software developers. Software developers are nothing but person. Developer is a person. So therefore software developer is an entity and it must be written inside a rectangular box. Next project. If you take project this is not physically existing but it is conceptually existing. Some project is given to some person and the person has to do the project. So this project it is happening conceptually. So therefore project is an entity and it must be written inside a rectangular box. The second step is we need to write the corresponding attributes for each entity. Attribute is nothing but characteristics of entity. If you take customer, what are all the characteristics of customer? We need to write surrounding this entity box. So attribute must be written inside an oval shape. So what are all the attributes of customer? The first attribute we can write it as name. It must be written inside oval shape. This name it can be further divided as First name, middle name and last name. If you are able to divide some attribute further. Here name attribute I am able to divide it further as first name, middle name and last name. Therefore it is known as a composite attribute. Name attribute is known as a composite attribute because you are able to divide the attribute further. The next attribute is address. Address of the customer. You should write it inside oval shape. The next attribute is phone number. I should write phone number inside double oval. Because customer can have more than one phone number. It is not like uh, the customer is giving one phone number and telling only this is my number. The customer can even have another phone number also. So he or she can have two phone numbers also. So it is multi-value. Two, va two values are there. Two phone numbers are there. So therefore it is known as multi-value attribute. So phone number is multi-value attribute. Next is email ID of the customer. Customer can have more than one email ID. Two or three email IDs also. Next let us see the attributes of project. Project will have an ID which must be underlined because Project ID will be unique for every single project. So therefore ID is known as a primary key. Now if you take this project. For example if there are 10 projects. Every single project among those 10 will be unique. No IDs will be repeated. So therefore ID is a primary key. So we need to underline the primary key. Next is project name. The name of the project. Next is start time of the project. So if it is starting today. Then that date will be an attribute. Next end time of the project. End time means when the project ends that time. So these are the attributes of project. Next attributes of software developer. Software developer will have a name. Then software developer will have an address. 
software developer will be having an employee id it must be underlined because employee id is the primary key it will be unique for every single employee if my employee id is 21 the same employee id 21 no other employee in the company will be having next attribute is salary the salary of the software developer next let us look at the attributes of software company the name of the software company next the location of the software company next the landline number of the software company or the mobile number any number of the software company it must be written inside double oval because it is not necessary the software company should be having only one number the company can also have more than one number so it is a multi-value attribute so you need to write it inside double oval so these are all the attributes of the four entities customer software company project and software developer the next step is we need to connect all the entities we need to connect two entities by using a relationship relationship is nothing but a diamond box you have to draw a diamond box and you have to connect two entities by drawing lines so now i need to draw a line and then i need to draw a diamond box i need to draw a line then i need to draw a diamond box and connect like this i need to draw a line then diamond box and connect draw a line diamond box then connect this diamond box is known as relationship so now customer in this diamond box i have to write orders the customer orders the project next customer here i have to write pays inside this diamond box customer pays to the software company next inside this diamond box i have to write hired so the software company has hired these software developers next project inside this diamond box i have to write done by so the flow goes like this customer will order the project the project will be done by the developers in the company the company has hired these developers that's the reason the project project is being done by the software developers finally the customer will pay the money for doing this project to the software company so this is the flow customer will order the project project will be done by the software developer the company will hire the software developers for doing the project then the customer will pay to the software company for completing and giving this project successfully so this is the flow for drawing the ER diagram for developing a project. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and share it with your friends. Thank you.